I spent the day with a group of women who are sex educators and sexual explorers, and it was facilitated by a woman who's been teaching female ejaculation or squirting for many years. And we were discussing different ways to teach women how to ejaculate. So I personally have never had that much motivation to learn about female ejaculation. And so I don't have so much motivation to teach people how to ejaculate per se. But the interesting thing that came out of this training in working with these women is that how little I know about my body. I'm in my 30s, I've been having sex for over 20 years, and I, I'm still learning, you know, I, I just learned recently that my body is not only able to squirt, but I'm able to do it whenever I want to. And it was really interesting to learn the anatomy that's involved in female ejaculation, learning that there are actually these parts on my body that I don't, I didn't even know had names, I didn't even know existed, I didn't even know what they look like until someone showed me a picture. And these are the kind of things that, that your family doctor doesn't really talk about. Um, we, you know, pleasure doesn't seem to be one of those areas that's considered in priority that we need to really check up on and, and learn more about. It's sort of this um, thing that you do when you have, I don't know, too much time on your hands. <laughs> so um, what I got most from, yeah, from taking this training was that there are still so many things that I don't know about my body. And if I think about, you know, going to see an expert like a nutritionist or or a doctor or a counselor or, or a therapist like a physiotherapist you know about my body they may be experts in their field but how how much time are you really spending with them how much do they could they really possibly know about your body sure they have measuring tools and and machines and computers and things that can um, measure various um, processes within your body but how how do those translate to you and what does it really mean to you and and I, w I would imagine that the fact that you spend every single moment of your life for how many however many years in your body this is your home and I kind of I find it very strange that people rely so much on outside opinion when really, if this is your home, you're the person who should be an expert at it. You may not know the technical details about how they work, how the cells work, how things metabolize, but you can feel and you can sense how your body responds to certain things. Let's use pleasure as an example. The last time you had sex, you know, were you doing things or asking for things or receiving things that you had received before and felt before and were comfortable with or you could predict what the outcome was going to be? What if you actually approached your next sexual encounter as more of an adventure, like you're looking at your body as a, as new terrain, you're, you're seeing it, perceiving it for the first time and just really looking at it with your eyes wide open, like the eyes of a, of a traveler visiting a new city and and you know kind of wonder out of curiosity and and be open to discovery about okay what would happen if if i asked him to touch me on the back of my knee or if i asked him to tickle me you know on a certain area of my back there's just so much possibility out there our bodies are very very complex machines and the more i learn about it the more i realize how little i know about my body so i would just like to conclude this talk by suggesting that we put on our explorer's hat and boots once in a while and really with an open mind explore, discover, ask questions out of curiosity and step out of our comfort zone maybe a little bit and see what might come of it. Thank you for listening.